Welcome, Snack Tackers. My name is Jason, and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first, I want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all the fun social media stuff. And let's get to talking about this product. Now, a favorite product uh, company and flavor... Flavor? Concept? Who knows? Of mine is Corn Nuts. I don't know if you recall the advertisements in the 90s were literally just, Are your teeth strong enough to eat this snack? It was a wild advertisement, and one that a lot of people probably did not resonate with. I don't know if you recall the animated corn that looked like he was psychotic, that had it out for teeth. I believe it was. Or perhaps you just had it out for humanity in general. This is a time where advertisements were particularly odd. But, anyway, Corn Nuts has been a favorite of mine since a child, and even now they come up with new flavors occasionally, and I buy them and I enjoy them. But, today, we are exploring Corn Nuts' new concept. Yes, we discussed in the Chex Mix um, video that Chex Mix is a company that doesn't appear to get as much love as it should. They have been regularly releasing new and interesting flavors and new and interesting varietals, but other companies don't frequently get to jump on the train as much. I know Doritos had something at some point, and I think probably Cheetos did as well. But now it is time for Corn Nuts to join the illustrious uh, Mix Bag club, I guess. Now, I don't know if there are multiple flavors because the 7-Eleven I went to only had this one, and uh, yes, these are from 7-Eleven. These are from 7-Eleven for $3.69. This is the Buffalo Ranch flavor. It has the corn nuts, corn chips, corn sticks, and corn puffs. That's right. It's all corn all the time. It's like that meme, you know, where they're looking at the earth, but it's just a nugget of corn. And he's like, wait, it's all been corn? Always has been, buddy. Memeology aside, this is interesting. The ranch flavor is probably my least favorite corn nuts flavor, so I don't hold out high hopes here for me personally. Also, Cool Ranch Doritos I don't enjoy. I don't even like ranch that much. So, you know... Not gonna love this, but maybe I will, because I do like buffalo, and buffalo ranch- Oh, I got a little fuzzy on my- got a little fuzzy on my sleeve. Uh, buffalo ranch might be just the thing the doctor ordered. Um, I believe, in the way that I know that Cornets usually does things, there's probably two flavors. But, uh, I'm sure the editor would have corrected. Oh, the- whoa. Everything is much smaller here than I thought it would be. There it, well, you can't even tell any of the individuals, but the puffs are incredibly small. Even smaller are the corn nuggets, which I recall them being much, or the corn nuts, which I call them being much larger, but hey, you know. The mini Doritos that say they're not Doritos, and the corn sticks, which I, I kind of thought would be more, again, large. I just thought everything was going to be larger. Let me uh, get a little snifter in here. A lot of buffalo notes, not a ton of ranch. That bodes well for me. Let's, uh, let's do this. Um, I'm not gonna count down for everything. Uh, just the, uh, corn nut at the end, so the corn pop to begin with. Very cool ranch with a little bit of heat at the end. I don't love that. The corn stick. Similar problem, though not as bad. Does taste more like a tortilla chip. The tortilla chip. That's Cool Ranch Doritos. A little bit of heat at the end. Which does make them better than Cool Ranch. Because it's hot ranch. It's heat ranch. Oh, I was going to count down for the nut. Oh, I nearly didn't. I nearly missed it. But I, I don't miss a chance to count my nuts. Three. Two. One. Snack attack. That's how I remember it. Crunchy. A um, little bit of heat. Not as much ranch, which is it's good for me, in my opinion. I'm going to do a handful with all of them, because that's how we do it 
here at Snack Attackers HQ. All together, they work very pleasantly. With that many more pieces, you get a lot more of the heat. The ranch is a little more of a backdrop. Um, which is better for me. I enjoy that. So these are not bad by any stretch of the imagination. They will get a snack tech, yes. Uh, I'm only going to give them 6.5 out of 10. But prepare for that twist, that curveball, that scurveball. Scurvy ball is what pirates used to play. Ooh. I don't even know if that makes sense. Probably not. Um, the question we ask around here is not tortured metaphor aside, would you buy these again? But would you buy these again? And the answer is no. It's probably one of my least favorite besides barbecue flavored corn nuts. Now, on the shelves, these were here, and next to them was the picante corn nuts or the jalapeno cheddar corn nuts, both flavors I enjoy immensely more than this. So the scurve ball, the scurvy ball is your scurvy scallywag, is I would not buy these again because they're the least good flavor of corn nuts. Yes, they're trying something new. They're trying the crunch mix, but it's a bag that is a little too small for a party, so you wouldn't take this at a party, but also a little too bag for big for travel. Yes, only half of it's full, but you're still traveling with such a large bag, such a large container, and that's not great. It's not fantastic. So, that being said, and all of that being said, it is, although a snack tack, yes, which I might have said past before, again, sometimes my mind, it just wanders, it's not actually going to get my stamp of approval. But remember to check the Twitter, the Instagram. I think I might have posted when I found these. No, I didn't. Because I was very busy that day. But do it. Check it. Because sometimes I do. And you don't want to miss it. And Twitter, uh, I'm really bad at it. But I, when a video is not going to drop or when the schedule is interrupted for some reason. Or if I'm dropping two, which I do for fast food stuff. Then you'll only know if you're checking the Twitter. So yeah. I'll see you in the next one.